Namaste. Welcome to today's energy audio cast. But you might notice instead of an audio cast, we're actually doing a video cast today. And it's all about your well being. So that's why I've named my business Energy, Inner G Respect. So J I. So when in India people say Guruji, Mama G, it's a sign of respect. So that's how I came up with the name Energy. It's all about inner respect. And that leads me on to today's topic. We think about yoga and we see all the wonderful images on the magazines of very, very slim, very acrobatic, very flexible and strong young people doing yoga. And one of my missions is to make yoga more accessible, to make it accessible to people who are not slim, who are not already fit, who are not already flexible and that's why I offer All Shapes Yoga and the All Shapes Yoga is for people who are a bit on the curvy side and dare I use that word fat? Oh my gosh there's so much emotion attached to that word. Having been both a very thin person and a, a fat person myself, I'm now sort of somewhere in the middle, I really understand the power of that word but let's put it out there. It's okay to be the size that you are. Not everyone who is fat is necessarily unhealthy. Not everyone who is fat is necessarily overeating or eating the wrong things. There are so many reasons that we can become more curvy. Some of us genetically are more curvy than others. And a lot of people I think would love to do yoga. I know so many people who say to me, I would love to do yoga but I'm too fat. I'm too stiff. I'm too inflexible, I'm too this, I'm too that. Well, I want to let you know that yoga is for everybody, every person. When I began yoga, I was a very large woman. I was, I'm only five foot two, um, so that's what, about 161 centimetres. And I was a size 18, and I had a, a very big belly in those days, and very big hips. And I wasn't happy with myself because I felt I couldn't do yoga. Until one day I got brave and decided to go to a class where there was the most wonderful teacher who welcomed me in and gave me the confidence to do yoga. And from that point I became a yoga teacher and I took my own yoga journey. And so my mission now is to share yoga with people who are curvy, overweight, who are inflexible, who have some form of restriction. Some of my private groups, I teach yoga to people who are in wheelchairs, who cannot speak, who have intellectual challenges. And they have proven to me time and time again that anyone and everyone can do yoga if it's something that they would like to do. Because yoga isn't just about what we do physically, it's about how we feel, how we think, and about that mind-body connection and that mind-body-spirit connection. So yoga can be what you want it to be. For many people, it is a form of physical exercise that is very healthy, very empowering. For others, it's a spiritual exercise as a way of moving in meditation. For others, it's just a way of feeling good about themselves. There's no right or wrong about yoga. It just is. So today I would invite you to join me in a very, very simple little yoga exercise where we're going to connect in with our emotions through a very simple yoga pose. So if you would like to join me, just make sure that you're not disturbed and you're just going to sit comfortably in a chair. Just close your eyes and we're just going to take a few breaths in and out. Just allowing your day to float away into the distance, not worrying about the to-dos, the must-dos, the have-tos. Just using the breath to become fully present with yourself in the here and the now. If your eyes are closed, gently opening your eyes now, and you're going to bring your hands to your heart. And we're going to take three breaths in this prayer pose. 
You may like to close your eyes to go within. And as you take the three breaths, I want you to become aware of how you're feeling. If any emotions are coming up for you, and whatever they are is perfectly fine. So let's close our eyes and let's take sleep. Three long, slow, deep breaths. Just acknowledging any emotions or insights that have come up for you. And now on an inhale, you're going to raise your hands above your head. Only going as high as you feel comfortable. So if your hands don't go as high as mine, that's perfectly okay. If your hands only come to your forehead or just in front of your mouth, just going where it feels right for you. Again, closing your eyes and taking three long, slow, deep breaths and acknowledging any emotions that you may feel. Gently opening your eyes once more, taking in another inhale. On an exhale, draw your hands back down to your heart. And just taking a moment, closing your eyes once more, perhaps taking your gaze slightly downward to go within, to just go through the emotions that you've been feeling. Were the emotions the same in each pose or did they change? And perhaps considering what those emotions mean for you. There might be some words that come to mind around them. There might be a past memory. There might be a future dream. Whatever it is that you've experienced in those poses, you can either release them if they feel negative or you can draw them into your heart if they feel positive. Taking three more breaths. Gently opening your eyes. Namaste. Releasing your hands. I hope you've enjoyed that little exercise. I hope it was meaningful for you. And if you are interested in finding out more about energy and yoga for all shapes, sizes, ways of being, I invite you to visit my website at www.energy, that's spelled I-N-N-E-R-J-I dot com dot A-U. Until next time, once again, namaste.